Hey guys, what's going on? It's Atmoscube22 here, or Amar, and I'm back for the second episode of the Valencia Save now. And as you can see, the first game of the season, we played a Rathing at home uh, in the league, and we beat them 4-2, and the goals shall be coming up shortly now. And look, as you can see from the stats here, we got absolutely destroyed. I don't know what it is about Valencia, but... Um, oh shit, fucking hell, it's, it's gone hyperspeed. But look at that first goal there from Soldado. Put the replay speed down a little bit. But uh, that was the first goal. From Soldado, he got two. Lewandowski got his first goal for the club in competitive game, uh, in a competitive game, we should say. And um, someone else scored. I can't remember who. But yeah, it was a pretty good game in, the, in, <laughs> in that we took our chances. Although Rathing did destroy us at home, which wasn't too good because I don't think some of the players are responding to some of my team talks and whatnot. I think it, it's going to be a club where I'm going to have to win them over, which means that we haven't been playing the greatest of football. They haven't been responding to team talks. It's harder for me to get through to the players, etc., etc. And uh, hopefully if I can get a formation that I think is working well and suits all the players. And Nene scores an absolute beauty there. That was a brilliant goal to get us back on level terms. But yeah, it's it's looking like a real challenge, this. And Costa scores a brilliant, brilliant free kick. And he looks like he could be an instrumental player for us this season. Very, very good creative player. Can score a free kick. Very good at set pieces. Can control that midfield. And is really, really good in that area. Um, Pablo Piatti, actually, at the moment, isn't playing um, particularly well. And uh, he's one of the players I'm going to have to uh, sort out. Because he's one of the players that's playing up a little bit. So those are the goals. From this game, I'll come back to you with the goals from the next match that we played. Hey guys, um, we then went on to play Atletico Madrid at home and we managed to snatch a 1-0 win here. Uh, and in the 80th minute as well through Lewandowski with that finish. And uh, that was pretty, pretty lucky because again, uh, the team has not been playing pretty well. And Thiago got sent off, which was uh, a big help to us throughout this victory. So uh, on to the next one. We then went on to play our first Champions League game against Applewell and uh, we were holding up pretty well. It could have gone either way and I felt that we had the better of the chances in this game and I thought we could have come away with the win here. But we conceded the first goal but uh, through sheer determination the team went straight back after kickoff and got a goal but unfortunately we could not get another one. That was a very, very nice goal there in Lewandowski who was a substitute, uh, came on and scored again. He's been a very, very good player so far for us it seems. <laughs> And, yeah, so it wasn't the best for the Champions League. Uh, it was not the best start, I guess, we could have had. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, next game. Uh, our third game in the league, then. We drew against Sporting away from home. A game that could have, again, got, gone either way. I felt we, again, had the better of the chances. Probably could have scored a few. Although, Sporting had a few themselves and missed a very, very good one in around the 80th minute where it came off the post. And uh, it looked to go hit the other post, but uh, Diego Alves picked it up, who was who was absolutely outstanding in this game and kept us in it. So, uh, yeah, on to the next game. I can't actually believe that this actually happened. So, we we then went on to beat Barcelona. Now, I have no clue how we did this, but we did. I don't, I can't really explain. It. I mean, we won't playing well, Barcelona had most of the chances, had most of the possession and to be honest with you we had about four highlights throughout the whole game and two of them were goals and the other two were just poorly missed chances from our strikers, I mean I think I had three different, I think Lewandowski, Soldado and um, and Arith or whatever his name is uh, who played in this game and they all just missed, ugh, they missed a chance each and Adriz just put one away finally, and then Rami got that at the back post header, which was uh, which was lucky for us because uh, a lot of the times in my Arsenal save I used to miss a lot of those. But look at the stats here; uh, it, it looks pretty even. But then if you look at their shots on target, we had three and two went in, so it tells you the whole story there. Um, and we'll move on to the next game. We then, after Barcelona, went and picked up a two-one victory here at Sevilla. Uh, a game which uh, we didn't really create many chances. We did split the defence open, uh, open sorry, a few times with a, a few long balls. Adil Rami getting the first goal from a corner there. And then, um, uh, yeah, we just kept splitting the defence open. But they had the majority of the attacking force. And um, to be honest, we defended very, very well. But they 
did end up score end up scoring, and that was a fantastic goal from Lewandowski. He's just scoring goals now uh, in the colours of Valencia very very well. And then we conceded uh, in the 77th minute. At this point, we were just defending like hell, but we were defending very very well. Uh, people like Diego Alves really playing exceptionally well, and Adol Rami playing uh, brilliantly as well. Those two have been our standout defenders so far this season. Uh, I know Alves is a goalkeeper, but you know. What I mean, so if we look at the stats here a little bit, as you can see, they had 17 shots, but only five on target. We had four and two goals, so again, they had 59%, but then we were just sitting in our own half and defending for the majority of the game. So, uh, the life con will be against Porto, which will be in a little while, but for now, let's just have a look at the table. Five games in, we are 13 points and second in the table somehow. I have no freaking clue. If we didn't beat Barcelona, we would probably be third or fourth. Barcelona sitting in, what's that, sixth now in nine points, but they've got a game in hand, so they could go within a point of us. Uh, I don't know how we're second, if I'm honest. It's quite astounding in my view, but uh, we'll see what's, uh, what will go on because obviously we've got people like Malaga, Sevilla, we've got Athletic, they've all got very, very good teams. Villarreal, Atletico Madrid are down there, but I'm sure they'll rise to the top soon. Look at some of the stats so far then. We've had the second best form after Real Madrid have won every single game. Uh, probably should look at the player stats, fuck that. Uh, eight goals for fucking Higaina, fuck me, that's ridiculous. We haven't really got many players. Lewandowski got three assists in his first two games. That was just astounding. Adil Rami topping the Man of Match awards. Alba getting a uh, highest tackling percentage or rate, sorry. And red cards. Yeah, Matthew got one red card as well. Our left back. But um Yeah, it's looking good for us at the moment. I mean I'll talk about more in the team after in the live com, so I might as well just pick the team and I'll see you there guys. Hey guys, welcome back and uh pick the team then. We're going with a forty three one. Um and we're gonna put Diego Alves in goal, fantastic so far this season. Miguel, Rami, Maduro and Alba. Uh, Benenga and Costa and Canales in that middle three. They're very, very creative. All can hopefully help Soldado get a goal. And then Pablo, Hernandez and Nene. Uh, looking at their team, they've got very good players as well. Like Halmatinho, Lucho Gonzalez, Hulk, uh, Varela. They've all got players that can hurt us. And I've got to do TV view. It's too fucking small. Um, but yeah, expect us to... Um, if I'm honest, I'm going to say expect us to lose because uh, it's not like Arsenal where I've got a good team. They're all used to the formation. They all hate me, for one. Uh, that's not even a lie. I don't think none of them like me. Uh, and I'll need to win them all over. Like, even the captain, Soldado, he doesn't like me for shit. Uh, Pablo Piatti doesn't react to anything. It's uh, They all hate me. Adil Rami's probably been our best defender. Doesn't like me that much. Um, yeah, so we need to sort things out at the club, really. I need to try and get it stabilised and whatnot. And uh, Hulk, <laughs> we're at home as well, but we're gonna get destroyed here because it's just been so difficult, especially with all the team talks and everything. I don't know what to fucking do. Soldado, oh come on, a little better ball than that. Costa, yes, Costa's range now. We got Costa on the free kick. He's got decent free kicks. I hope he doesn't fuck it up now and show me up unless he crosses it. Oh, he went for it. He deflected. Um, but yeah. This is not going to be a very easy season, even though we're second in the league. We, If I'm honest, we fluked it. Um, I don't know how, but we just did. Uh, in every game, we just haven't looked like we've we, we've been able to score. It's just been pretty poor. Like, I'll show you at half-time. After I do my team talk at half-time, they'll all look switched off. That's what will happen. They just don't like, oh, they don't like me. It's, it's really demoralising, <laughs> if I'm honest. Oh dear lord, we're doing well, it, it doesn't look like we're going to qualify for Champions League and Hulk gets in front of Diego Alves there, that's poor goalkeeping from Alves to let Hulk in, uh, he's not really made a mistake like that so far this season, uh, that's not very good, <laughs> wow it's one of those back post things, I don't know what it is but those see, people always seem to peel off the back, uh, the back post on the free kick and Get a goal up. We I saw it a lot with Hummels in my Arsenal save, but uh, yeah. Come on, let's do this. Oh fuck me! <laughs> I was about to get pumped up, and then we just got, and then and then they scored. Wow. Um, let's change this up. Look at that. Look at all the fucking. Oh, 
they piss me off to shit these lot do um, attacking tempo default ah <sighs> fuck my life fuck the replay it was a shit goal wow we are up <laughs> Oh, everything's gonna go tits up now. We we actually broke. I actually broke a Valencia record already for six games unbeaten, uh, and now we're gonna get absolutely fucking shitted on by Porto. I bet you John's laughing at me. Oh dear lord! Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the time they have. We have. We never. We haven't even been able to get the ball down. Look at this, every single freaking highlight. We don't even get one. Oh, for that. <sighs> he gets too many yellow cards, he does, Miguel. Way too many. Why's Hulk taking a free kick? Oh, that's why. Yeah, well, it's not going so well, is it? Oh, fuck me. Looks like it can only get worse from here on out. Oh, fucking! Let's get this game over with. Fuck my life! This is shit. I cannot even look at the look at this. Absolutely ridiculous. What should I do? Just ask the fucking assistant. Look at that! It's ridiculous. Even it doesn't even matter if I say something. It just I don't know what's going on. Um. Oh, we might have a... Fuck's sake. Potentially have a highlight. Yeah, fuck me. Someone just shooting from long range. <sighs> Who have we got next? Oh, come on. To be scoring those. Header. Fuck off. Rami, oh, it's a week. I don't know what's going on with the team, to be honest. But um, I'll try and sort it out. Look at that. How easy was that? He just turned around and ran past him. Go on, Soldado. Fucking hell. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Take Costa off. Daniel Parejo. Um... Now, take Canales off him. I uh, will put that's my phone. I don't want Downski on for him. Stick him up front. Actually, fuck it. Fuck that. Just leave it at that. And then we will see what happens now. But I reckon we'll just get absolutely bummed. We don't, we can't even get near the ball. Pass it. Yes. Okay. I honestly don't know what to do. I'm actually run out of ideas. Uh, nope. Okay. Menenga. Costa Canales, oh, decent effort. Oh, he should have scored that. He hadn't, that was an opportunity there. Free shot at goal and he flopped it. And we've still got more than half an hour of this shit to go. Oh, my God. But to be fair, players that have been playing well still had awful, like, Morale. I don't even know why. If someone could like help me, I don't know what to do with the team talks, like the morale, how to sort the team out or whatever. Let me know, because as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. I don't know how we beat Barcelona. We've no we haven't even played any good football. All the goals we've had just been fluked. Well, not fluked, but it's been like we've always like t taken our chances when we've created them. That's the good thing. If we didn't, then it would be a little bit bad. But I'm going to concentrate on the league. Uh, Champions League obviously isn't realistic. Especially if we're getting drummed 3-0 and it can't be Applewell. So, 
Yeah. Um, I would think he's about coming third in the Champions League group. Is that you get Europa, and I don't really want to be in Europa. I'd prefer just to be in the league and the domestic cup. Um, so <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and come fourth, but I, I'd rather come fourth than third, if you know what I mean. Um, and try and sort Valencia out this season, and then uh, try and get something going next season, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna have to see about that conservative style. We haven't we haven't been able we haven't. Oh, one, we've had one good chance with Hernandez, and that's it. Afolai, no. <sighs> but hopefully, if we can gain top three in the league, that'll be uh, that'll be good. Fuck me, Otamendi. Look at this guy. He's such a beast, Otamendi. I love him. He's such a legend. Come on, bitch. No. Oh, yes. Get it over with. Yeah, they deserved it. We played fucking awful as shit. Look at that. We're fucked. Who have we got next? We've got Grenad. Oh, Grenadier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, doesn't seem to be listening. You see, I don't, I don't know what to fucking do. The little shits. I might just quit. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Fuck it. Go to Dortmund. <laughs> oh, this has been a fucking disaster. But um, yeah, who have we got next? Let's have a look at the fixture list. Um, we had a decent run of games since the start of the season. We've got our first loss of the season, so uh, uh, we've got that out of the way. Um, next month, I'll come back to you with a live comp of the Getafe game then, uh, as the last game of the month. So. See you guys for that. For now, uh, if you please like the video, it'd really help me out, help my channel, and um, and yeah, just have a nice day, guys, and I'll see you next time.